Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Jason and um, I do various things on this channel. Today, we will actually be doing um, a small mini little haul, if you will. And um, I've been trying, I've been on the search for a better foundation for myself. <laughs> so in this haul, which was the main reason I purchased something from this company, and you'll see in a minute, was because I'm still trying to find the foundation shade that works best for me and the foundation. So anyway, <laughs> let's just go ahead and get right into it. This is actually going to be a, a little bit a haul of um, Kimchi Cosmetics. Now, I've done products from Kimchi Cosmetics before. If you're not familiar, Kimchi is a famous drag queen. Um, I think she basically made a name for herself. She probably had a name for herself before, but she became popular on RuPaul's Drag Race. But she has her own cosmetics line now, um, and I've liked a lot of her products that I've tried already. So... Um, I found out that she has a foundation line and I thought foundation uh, drag queens need good foundation coverage so maybe I'll give her foundation a try and see how that works. Now on their website they do have a very similar tool to like Il Maquillage does where you you know select certain photos and it's supposed to tell you which shade is best for you. So that's what I did and this is the shade that they suggested for me. So we'll see how closely it matches. Now this is not foolproof because <clears throat> How I see my skin may not be how others see my skin. And anyway, there's lots of variables, so we'll see. But anyway, came in just this box here. And when you open her up, this is what it looks like inside. Um, now, this is not a subscription box. These were just products that I purchased. Um, on the top here, they've got little sticker from kimchi which is cute i'm not a big sticker person but um and then this other one which is kimchi chic beauty i uh, is a proud partner of the trevor project we are committed to donating two percent of our sale prices to the trevor project to help prevent suicide among lgbtq youth so that is good as well um and let's go ahead and take some of these items out. I'm going to put that on the floor there. Now, I ordered this little product here thinking it was going to be um, one of those little pop pins for, like, the back of your phone. Um, but it's not. It's just, like, a pin that you pin on, you know, some kind of clothes or whatever. But... It's cute, but I probably won't use it because it's not really what I thought it was going to be. But that's my fault. So, anyway, um, I'm just going to show the products first, and then we will do the foundation try-on. So, first thing I'm going to pull out here is, I saw this, I, and like I said, I went onto her website strictly to look for the foundation. But her packaging reminds me a lot of, like, you know, Jeffree Star, um, I mean, sorry, Patrick's, Jeffree Star, sorry. <laughs> Get it right, Jason. Uh, Jeffree Star's um, packaging, regardless of what you think of him, he actually does have pretty amazing packaging. So I saw this, and this is the Boyfriend Bear um, Palette. Boyfriend, petite, uh, let's see. They have boyfriend and girlfriend. And on the back here, they actually give you a bunch of stickers to decorate your little bear with. Uh, which, again, I'm not a sticker person, but that's kind of cute. Um, when you take the bear out, it looks like this. Kimchi Cosmetics. And let's pull the stickers out. And these are the, you know, the raised, like, 3D-type stickers. So you can decorate your bear however you want, um, which I'm not going to do on camera. Um, partly because I'm not a crafty person. 
Um, and yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm just not going to. So, um, but when you open them up, they had the boyfriend and girlfriend. The girlfriend was pink. The boyfriend was blue or this teal color, seafoam color. Um, and then when you open them up at the bottom here, this is what he looks like inside. Oops, let's see. Let's... So I thought that was pretty darn cute. Um, I don't know what the formula is like. I don't think I've tried any of um, kimchi's eyeshadow formulas. So, oops. Get rid of these little things here. All right. I don't know if those were supposed to stay there, but anyway, it looks like um, I'm assuming that this side here is supposed to be like a highlighter palette, like a blush and a highlighter palette. But this is a shimmer shade here, so well, they're both kind of shimmer shades. So I don't know. I guess it, yeah, it could be a highlighter. And then these, I'm assuming, are all the eyeshadows. Of course, they can all be used as eyeshadows as well. Um, but anyway, um, let me just do a few little swatches. I, of course, I didn't bring uh, anything to wipe off the swatches, but we'll see. I really want to try that blue down there, even though I'm not a big blue eyeshadow person. Okay, it comes off like that. And if you hear yelling, I apologize. I have neighbors downstairs that constantly are fighting. So um, I've actually barricaded my front door because there was a drunk or a really strung out guy that was like leaning against my front door, like pressing it in. And I'm home alone filming this, so <laughs> I was a little nervous. So I put something in front of the door to barricade it. And now the neighbors downstairs are yelling and screaming and fighting. So if you hear that, I apologize. I live in the Bronx. It's what we deal with all the time. So. Um, this is, so this is the shade. It's not very pigmented. It's pretty, but it's, it looks like it's buildable. Um, let's see here what, uh, maybe one of the, I'm going to try, um, this color here and see what that's like. Okay. So again, it's, it's buildable. It's not super pigmented, but I would prefer that, so. All right. Well, I'm not going to go ahead and swatch all of them, but um, anyway, I, I, I thought it was such an adorable little palette, so I couldn't resist. Um, so you put this thing back on. How does this fit? There we go. And there we go. So there is that. And um, let's see here. Let's, what else did I get besides the foundation? Um, all right. I'm going to see if the package insert here actually has the prices and it does not. So when I am editing the video, I will look up. I will try to look up the prices and let you know when I'm editing. But um, this is the other thing that I got. And what was this? This was facial a facial brush. And on the back, it's got kind of a, not ribbed, but um, I have never tried anything like this, but I'm assuming this is how you use it and that it helps just take off makeup. Um, so I thought I would give it a try. Um, she had a cell going on, so anyway. Oh my goodness, the yelling downstairs, ugh. Okay, 
let's get on to the last thing because I don't want the video to be super long. So um, this is the foundation. This is a really good foundation. <laughs> so, and um, let's see here. This is in shade 112M. 112M. And when you take her out, this is what she looks like. Um, I can't tell if that looks like it's going to be my shade, but we'll see. Um, the top is a uh, heart shaped. So, and I think this is, I think it said it was four ounces. Um, let's see if it's on the box here because a lot of the, um, foundations that I was finding say that they were like a one ounce. So I thought, oh, four ounces, this will be a lot. And it was very similarly priced to what the others were, but, uh, comes in a little pump like this. And let me just quickly um, prime my face since I'm gonna be putting foundation on it. I'm just gonna be using this um, Evo Beauty. I think I got this in my Ice Cream Beauty box last month. Um, it was either that or Ipsy, I can't remember. But um, I'm gonna, it's a little cream. It's, I thought it was more silicone, but it is a cream, so. Um, I'm just going to put that on, and I should have brought something to and uh, again, I apologize if you hear yelling. I already told you why. I can't do anything about it. If I wait till it stops, <laughs> I'll never get to film. So, um, so anyway, all right. Let's go ahead and just wipe that on there. Um, see, this eyeshadow hopefully won't affect it, but this is what the primer does. Um, I don't know if it's going to it look, I don't know. What do you think? That looks okay. I It's shiny. I don't know. But anyway, that's not what we're testing here. So now what I did, because last time I tried the foundation, um, I used a dry sponge to put it on. I think this time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some dots and then I'm going to spread it around first with my brush. And then I'm going to use the um, wet, I wet, I wet this blender. And um, so it's damp and I'm going to press that in. All right, so let's go ahead and see what this is like. Um, all right, so this is the color and we will see here what this ends up looking like. I'm I've got a mirror down here, so um this uh, I don't know. This looks I used a lot and I probably shouldn't have used this much. <laughs> um but can't do anything about it now. <laughs> I still got a lot on my hands, so um yeah. Anyway, um, of course, I'm looking in a the mirror there, so let's go ahead and see if I can spread it around enough there. Um, normally, I wouldn't put this over my beard, but I put so much on. Um, and this, I think this is supposed to be full coverage, so... We'll see, but I don't, the color so far looks like it's a good match for me. I'm quite surprised, at least in this light. Um, it's really hard to tell how good the colors are with my ring light. So... 
but I feel, wow, I feel like this is, I mean, it's a little, in the camera here, it's a little pale, but other than that, and this feels like a, med maybe more of a medium um, coverage, as opposed to a full coverage, but um, I'm okay with that. I don't really need a full coverage. I just want something to really even out my skin tone. Now, let's see if I can, if, if I damp, uh, press some of this in, if it just takes too much of it off, um, because I, that would not be good. Um, but I think so far, of all the foundations that I've used, this has been the best match. And I remember people telling me to damp this to blender and stipple <laughs> as opposed to pressing it in or uh, moving it around. So that's what I'm doing. I'm stippling and I don't, I feel like it's, I mean, yeah, it, it's come off a lot, but I think enough has still stayed on my, I don't know. What do you, do you think it was, it's enough, a cov enough of a coverage to be considered like a, a medium uh, coverage foundation? Or do you, would you consider this still a light coverage foundation? I don't know. But in terms of color, I think this is the right color for me. I was really surprised because when I look at the bottle, eh, I yeah, I guess. I just know next time not to use so much. <laughs> um, but I, yeah, I, I think so far so good. Now I don't know what the lasting um, you know, lasting power or whatever of this is, because obviously this is the first time I'm trying it. I can leave it on for the rest of the night and let you guys know in my next video or in a pinned comment how well this lasted. But it is late when I'm filming this, um, so it's not like it's going to be on for too long. <laughs> but... Yeah, I like this. Wow. And it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing something on my face too much. Like, yeah, I can feel something there, but it's not heavy on my face. And I feel like it's evened. Yeah, I really feel like this is evened out. Wow. All right, kimchi. You go, girl. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I don't say things like that. Anyway, <laughs> um, I haven't filmed in a while, uh, so... Anyway, I think before I start uh, babbling like I normally do in all my videos, I'm going to close it up here because I tried all the products. But um, so far, I'm finding this to be the best one that I've tried. So we'll see. What do you think of the color match? I really like the color match, but like I said, it's different under this light. When I look in the mirror later in the bathroom, it may look different. So anyway, the foundation, the little cute uh, bare palette with the blush, highlighter, and shadows, and the face um, cleanser here, which I will try later on. All right. Well, um, that will do it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, if you think that the color match seems to match as much as you can see on this video. Um, and if you think this looks more like a medium or a light coverage to you, I'm curious to know. Um, so, but other than that, yeah, I, I'm really, I would feel comfortable wearing this out, I think. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I do have a giveaway going on, which I will link, um, I will put the video card up here at the end of the video. So you can go ahead and give that a watch. 
Um, but other than that, that will do it for me. I am expecting a mystery um, box to come within the next few days. So keep an eye out for that. I'm really excited about that mystery box. I won't tell you which company it's from. Um, it's a mystery. Um, so anyway, that hopefully will be coming in a few days and I'll make that video and post that. Other than that, that's it for me. So um, I hope everybody is staying happy, healthy, and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.